بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احبت في الله continue on in our series related to what salafia is We mentioned a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the explanation of Abu Hatim ibn Hiban Rahimahullah Ta'ala with regards to that hadith letting us know that this is Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was referring to and Ahlul Sunnah are those who adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And in this day and age, they refer to themselves as Salafiyun. But that doesn't mean everyone who refers to themselves as Salafi is Salafi, of course. And as we mentioned prior to this, countless times, al ibra bi haqaiq wa laysa bi musammiyat, that the proof or the reality of something is in its substance, is in its reality, not in its name. So a person can call themselves Salafi, but in fact they could be Sufi. In fact, you'll find from the people of Tasawwuf, you know, they have different tabaqat, they have different levels of knowledge, they have different levels of practice, they have different levels of bid'ah, and you'll find some of them that are well versed in the Sunnah and well versed in the path of the Salaf but they only take, they choose and cut and paste so to speak and you'll find those from Ahl Takfir as well the people who take or excommunicate their brothers and sisters out of the fold of Islam or they no longer consider themselves the, those people to be Muslims for the major sins that they commit or because they disagree with them. There's many reasons that people fall into this bid'ah of takfir. And what we see now especially, but this is in actual the, the original Khawarij, and when they began to split into sects, you found some of them making takfir ba'duhum min ba'd, that they would make takfir of one another for the difference of uh, itiqad. This group they broke from them, so the Azarika, they made takfir to them. The Azarika was a group of, tek, uh, of the Khawarij who used to make takfir of themselves until they made hijrah from the land that they resided in that they considered to be Dar al-Kufr. So until they made hijrah, they considered themselves to be kafir. We're now Muslim now that we've made hijrah. This is their, their concept. That shows you how deviant and how much misguidance people can reach to that extent, to that level. And going back to some of the Nasus in reference to the Sabila Mu'mineen, as we mentioned, the Sabila Mu'mineen that Allah Azza wa Jal mentions, we yet tell you later Sabila Mu'mineen, those who traverse a path other than the path of the believers. And the path of the believers is the path of what? Sabila Mu'mineen, awu ma yasdat ala ma kana alayhi sahaba ridwan Allahi alayhim fal khuruj an tariqihim itba'a itba'a li ghayri Sabila Mu'mineen. So the Sabila Mu'mineen, it's the path of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ani majma'een. They were the first to adhere to the Sabila Mu'mineen. And they established the Sabila Mu'mineen because the Sabila Mu'mineen is based on the Quran and based on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And those who differed with them traversed, of course, other than the Sabila Mu'mineen, other than the path of the Sunnah. An Thawban qal, qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam la tazaw ta'ifatun min ummati ala haq zahideen. لا يضرهم من خذلهم من يخذلهم حتى يأتي أمر الله. In the hadith of Thoban, 
radiallahu ta'ala, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there won't cease to be a group from my nation that is clearly on the truth or victorious. No one will harm them, uh, whoever differs with them or disagrees with them or even tries to deceive them until the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is established, meaning the hour until Yom Qiyamah, until the final days. Sheikh Salim bin Fuzan mentioned a faida about this in his uh, Shar Aqidah to Wasatiyah, his explanation of the book uh, Al Aqidah to Wasatiyah, or Aqidah to Wasatiyah. He mentioned that this would be up until the last days, and that although Ahlul Sunnah might find harm, personal harm, you know, you might be killed on the path of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which of course is the Sunnah of the Anbiya. You might be physically harmed, but the Dawah and Ahlul Sunnah will still will still go forth. So even if there's setbacks, even if you personally find some harm to yourself, La Tazal Taifatum min Ummati Dahirin al Haq, there won't cease to be a group from my nation that continues to be on the truth or to continues to be victorious. The Sunnah will still go forth with or without us and may Allah bless us to be of those who go forward with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Qala Abu Isa Tirmidhi Rahimahullah Ta'ala Imam Tirmidhi He said Have a hadith Hassan Sahih Sami'tu Muhammad ibn Ismail Yaqul Sami'tu Ali ibn Madini Yaqul إلى آخر وذكر هذا الحديث عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق فقال علي هم أهل الحديث. so علي بن مدين who was the شيخ of one of the مشايخ of إمام بخاري he mentioned that Uh, when regarding the hadith that we are we already mentioned, he said, "Whom ahla hadith?" That this refers to ahla hadith, and so this goes back to what we were discussing before: the different names of ahla sunnah, ahla hadith, ahla sunnati wal jamaa, salafiyun, itba salaf, ahla afar, firqat najia. All of these al qab, all of these names, which go back to nusus, go back to an asl in the deen and are a wasf, a description of the people who follow Kitab Allah Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. So those are all descriptions and ascriptions to the people of the Sunnah. The people who follow Kitab Allah Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And this differs with the people of Bid'ah. For example, uh, when we have groups like um, Jamaat al Ahbash, for example. They even refer to themselves as Jamaat al Ahbash. What does that have to do with Kitab al Law, Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or the Tariqah Salaf al Hadi Ummah? There's nothing even in, implied in their name. Instead, it, it refers to uh, Ahbash, the, the country, Habisha, which is modern day Ethiopia. And more specifically, it refers to their leader, Abdullah bin Hariri. When you look at Ahl Sunnah, we don't have a leader except the Prophet wasallam. Our scholars are our leaders, now, But we don't follow them. We don't say, I don't say I'm Albani. I'm an Albaniun. Or I'm Wahhabi, as they say. Or I am, uh, uh, you know, uh, Madkhali. Or I am Jahmi. Or Jami. I'm, or I'm this, or I'm that. But uh, if if we were to take that sabil, then it would be more rightful that we would be followers of the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum But even that is not acceptable. I'm not Khattabi. I'm not Umari. Nothing, nothing like uh, like Ahlul Bid'ah that we find that they Tijaniya, uh, the um, all the various uh, groups from amongst. For example, especially the Sufi sects, they go back to a particular individual who began their their group, uh, the Ashidis. Who do they go? Abu Hassan Ashari. They they don't go back. They don't say you know why don't they call themselves uh, Sunni? 
Why don't they call themselves Ahl Sunnah? Why don't they say that they're Ahl Athar? But instead they call themselves Ashari. And we have the Ashari Aqidah. And the Sufis today, you see, they publicize, oh, we have the Ashari Aqidah. Why don't you have the, Salaf, the Salafi Aqidah that, that goes back to the Salaf? Why don't you have the Aqidah that goes back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Salaf uh, Ahadhi Ummah to the Sahaba, what they were upon, Radi Allah Ta'ala Majma'in. Why don't you say we have a Sahabi Aqidah? But instead they go to the Ashari Aqidah. Or or whatever group that they uh, associate themselves with. So this is a difference between Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And then in another hadith, an Muawiyata, an Muawiyatu, uh, an Muawiyata ibn ibn Abi Sufyan radi Allah Taalaanhu qal. ألا أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قام فينا فقال ألا إن من قبلكم من أهل الكتاب افتركوا على ثنتين وسبعين ملة وأن هذه الملة ستفترق على ثلاث وسبعين ثنتان وسبعون في النار وواحدة في الجنة وهي الجماعة هذا حديث سحيل غير. In this hadith, أحبت في الله, you find in Muslim Imam Ahmed وأبو داود, the hadith of Muawiyah ibn Sufyan رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم stood amongst us, and he said, verily, those who came before you from the people of the book, they divided into 72 uh, milla, 72 sects. And verily, this group or this nation will break into 73 sects, 72 of them in the fire, and one of them in Jannah, and they are the Jama'ah. So this lets us know, Habitifillah, Al Jama'ah, Al Jama'ah, Al Jama'ah. This is those people who the Prophet ﷺ referred to as what? The saved sect. Those who are in Jannah. This is where, where the concept and those those names came from. They were derived from Hadith literature. Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the people of the Sunnah and the Jama'ah. Ahla Hadith, those people who adhere to Hadith and those principles of Hadith and Ahla Hadith and the Etiqad of Ahla Hadith. Because it came from Kitabi Law Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Fahim of the Salaf of this Ummah. This is who the, these people were. The transmitters of the Hadith. That's formed the, 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 the Asas of the Deen. وأخرج ترمذي عن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال صلى الله عليه وسلم ليأتينا ليأتينا على أمتي ما أتى على بني إسرائيل حذ النعل بالنعل بالنعل وإن وإن بني إسرائيل تفرقت على ثنتين على إثنتين وسبعين ملة وتفترك أمتي على ثلاثة وسبعين ملة كلهم في النار الواحدة إلا ملة واحدة قالوا من هي يا رسول الله قال ما أنا علي عليه وأصحابي In the hadith in Tirmidhi which is also similar to the hadith we already mentioned the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم also mentioned that the people uh, the children of Israel they would uh, that uh, that his nation would traverse the path of the people of Bani Israel footstep by footstep or sandal by sandal you could say footstep by footstep and that Bani Israel they divided into 72 sects and my nation would break into 73 sects all of them in the fire Except one. Except one sect. And then they said, meaning the Sahaba, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? 
Men hear Ya Rasulullah. The Prophet Sallallahu responded, he said, those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions. So that should affirm for us very strongly. It affirms for us very strongly that we have to adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, going back to the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anim So while others are saying we're looking forward, while you're looking back, we say yes, we're looking back. Because this is the path of salvation. Because those who only look forward without looking back, they repeat the same mistakes, they fall into the same traps, and they deviate just like the people before us. This is exactly what happened. So now we have people with their new new various forms of da'wah out there. We have them in America. A lot of du'a, I can name them. And I think it's already known who are these big du'a. They have many followers. Many people love to listen to them. What are they calling to? We would love to line up with them or line up behind them even. If they were calling the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. But instead, rather what you have is they quote from Kitab Allah. And they quote from uh, Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sometimes. And they leave off the understanding of the Salaf. They take their own new understanding. Because we have so many new so, uh, social problems we have to deal with. Or because it's not as relevant. Uh, our, our context and our world problems and we're a global community and the, all the excuses that they come up with. We don't deny the things, the challenges we face. We don't deny what our youth face. We don't deny, deny all the social ills that we face that are perhaps even much greater than what was faced in the past. And we don't deny the threat of secularism and all these other ideologies. But we say that our medicine goes back into going back to what the Prophet Sallallahu was upon and his, his companions and trying to get our answers from there. The ijtihadat comes from there. It's muqayyid bin nusus, not from our own opinions and our own circumstances and our own ijtihad without looking back to those sources. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.